guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, what's up? My name is Caitlin, and today we are doing the All About My Eyeshadow Palettes Part 2. This is a tag that was created by Samantha March and Allie Glines. Um, they did Part 1 probably a year or two ago. It's been a minute. Um, I did Part 1 on my channel too, so I'll link that as well as both of their channels down in my description if you want to check any of those out. Definitely do. Um, so this tag is like a few questions about your eyeshadow palettes you pick from your collection and then, yeah, talk about them. So we'll just go ahead and dive in. The first question is your all-time favorite palette. Right off the bat, I'm cheating. <laughs> if you guys have seen any of my videos, you already know. The Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Volume 1 and 2 palettes are the love of my life. <laughs> um, the Volume 1 looks like this. This is the very original Volume 1. I will never get rid of this palette. I wore it on my wedding day. I adore this. It's so, so good. Like, so good. <laughs> this is my most used palette for sure. I love this. And then, of course, she came out with the next one, which was volume two. So good as well. I love this one too. This is like the, um, like the fun older sister kind of thing. <laughs> um, like, it's very loud and lots of fun colors. And they just go so well together. Like, those two palettes would set you. Like, you wouldn't need any other colors. I adore those. <laughs> okay, a new favorite, which is like a new favorite brand to me. I'm really liking this brand, and that would be Hip Dot. I tried this palette sometime last year. Um, this is the Zion palette. It's just a lot of really pretty pinks and purples, and I love this formula. It is so good. I definitely need to use it more, um, but it's so nice. Like, they're so buttery, so smooth. They blend amazingly. They have really pretty packaging, and they have a lot of fun collabs. Like, this is a brand that I definitely want to try more. Memories. Okay. This is going to <laughs> age this palette and show you how badly I am at hoarding makeup. The Anastasia Sultry Palette. <laughs> um, this has memories tied to it because this is the first makeup product and that my husband ever bought for me. Um, he got this for me on our first Christmas together, back together, complicated story. <laughs> um, or my, yeah. So my husband was actually my first boyfriend ever back when we were in like junior high. Um, so when I say first thing he ever bought me, I mean when we got back together as adults. <laughs> um, but anyway, so this is that. And I love it. And I think I'll probably hold on to this forever because it's so sweet and I like it. It does have a little mess up right there. Okay. Underrated. This brand in general is underrated. They make some bomb stuff. And I'm talking about Belle and Argent. They are so good. They make my favorite lipstick formula, first of all. But second of all, this palette is just so pretty. It's only eight colors. It's super easy, super um, like travel friendly. This shade right here. Come on. It's so good. It's like a glitter shade, but it doesn't like fall off of your eyes or anything. It's just, I really like this palette so much. The metallics in here, I should have been swatching all of these for you and I'm very sorry, but mm, this one I had to. So I really like this. I definitely want to pick up more of these. Okay. Um, a palette I don't really like, but can't seem to get rid of. That is the Carly Bible. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I did not give this the best review. I haven't really used it much since then. I think I've used this maybe three times, but for some reason, the collector in me is like, I can't separate it from the rest of my ABH palettes. Like, I don't even have them all. I wish I had them all. <laughs> Eventually, I hope to have them all, but I just can't get rid of this one because then I wouldn't have the complete set, you know? Makes total sense, right? I have a hoarder mentality. Anyway, uh, my favorite collab. Oh, I have lip gloss on and my hair keeps getting caught in it and this is why I don't like lip gloss. Um, my favorite collab is Elf and Jaquissa. This palette, first of all, is gorgeous. Second of all, it came with like a sheet of stickers that you could decorate the front of your palette however you wanted, which I thought was adorable. And then this was also a collab with, I don't remember the name of it, but it was like a pit, bro pit, pit bull rescue center in LA, I believe. But I just loved everything about this palette. And then you look at it and it's like, oh my god, it's beautiful as well. Um, these colors are stunning. This is my favorite rainbow palette I've ever tried. It's green, come on. Even the purples 
are so good and purples are hard to do and drugstore purples are never good <laughs> so the fact that these are stunning makes me so happy the only thing i don't like is that it was limited edition so i'm sorry but it's a good one um my 2021 favorite probably no surprise to anybody but that would be lunar beauty the moonspell volume two i also really loved the life's a drag volume two whatever it was called but I picked this one just because we already had a volume one of that one, which I mean, we technically have a volume one of this too, but they're not the same shades. <laughs> so here it is. I clearly really like purples. I'm wearing purple today, and I think this is like the third purple eyeshadow palette I've talked about, but more purples, really pretty. Lunar Beauty makes my favorite eyeshadow formula. If you didn't know, now you do. So yeah, check that one out for sure. One that's true. Didn't expect to love. So this, I really did not expect to like. This is the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette Remastered. Everyone loves this palette. Everyone loves Huda Beauty palettes, right? Huda Beauty is great. Everybody loves it. I didn't expect to love it because I don't like the little nine pad, nine, what are words? Nine pan palettes, <laughs> the little like, uh, little square ones, the rose and the um, ruby and all those. I don't like those at all they're bad <laughs> but then I got this in a boxy charm I did not buy this myself I wasn't well, I mean I paid for my boxy charm but I didn't pick this out I wasn't gonna get it nothing like that and then I got it in my boxy and I was like you know what oh that shade right there so pretty I was like you know what we'll try it out like maybe the formula is different and it for sure is because this palette quickly became a favorite it is so good so pretty so like romantic looking too like this just screams Valentine's Day to me. And yeah, it's a good one. I really, really like that palette. I need to clean off my fingers. Okay, next is one that sparks joy. That would be this one, <laughs> ABH Norvina. Uh, this is the volume three. This is also one that I got in a BoxyCharm. I did not expect to purchase this myself because while I do love ABH palettes, I was like, uh, $60 is kind of a lot. So maybe not, <laughs> but then I got it. And I'm in love and I want the rest of them. So here it is. Such fun colors. Lots of greens and purples. And there's some blues in there. Some neutrals, of course. Um, the thing is D4 shade. Oh, I love this. The thing I love most about this palette is you can do so many looks. Right there. With this palette, I have done a purple eye, a green eye, a nude eye, a pop of blue. I've done pink. I've done so many looks with this. And there are still so many more I could do. Sorry, hit the camera. Um, this is such a good one. I think I've used just about every shade in this palette, but so good. They have a purple one of these. I think I need it in my life. Okay, two left, two left. Um, newest palette. So this I kind of cheated on a little bit too. I picked two just because I got both of these for Christmas and I haven't used either of them yet. Um, so I didn't know which one was technically newer <laughs> because I got them both the same day. So from my friend, I got the MAC Studio Zodiac eyeshadow palette. She knows I love Zodiacs, so she does too. Um, I've never heard of MAC Studio, uh, but this is what it looks like here. Lots and lots of colors. It still has like this plastic on it and it does have a brush with it too. Yeah, so I definitely need to use this. Let me know if you've heard of Mac Studio, if you like them. I also don't, yeah, not tested on animals. And then the other one I got from my mother-in-law and it is the Prism Makeup Interstellar palette. This one, it says cruelty free on the back. This one reminds me of the uh, Urban Decay Born to Run palette so much. Like I think it's meant to be a dupe for it. It's really, really pretty. I haven't used this one yet either. I wanna use this one soon for sure, but. Yeah, that supernova shade mm, that one and then the shade here called big bang i'll call it my names but yeah it looks a lot like the born to run palette what is this in here well you can be makeup uh, da, 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 da. scan this name tag on instagram to follow us oh okay that's cool yeah so again not a brand i've ever heard of so it's always fun when other people get me makeup because it's like something i wouldn't have purchased myself but I'm excited. Okay, and 
the last one is also kind of me cheating a little bit. <laughs> Um, it's the first palette I used in 2022. The first look I did in 2022, I did a combination of these two palettes. Um, I was trying out this one. It's the Trust Luce I Am Supreme. Siempre Divina? Divina? Siempre Divina? I don't speak Spanish. I'm really sorry if I butchered that, but it's, uh, it was in Ipsy thing? Ipsy or Boxy Charm. And I really liked it. It was really pretty. The shades were beautiful, but I just felt like I needed a little bit more matte colors. So I added this. This was the Visart. Um, what are you? New uh, Neutral matte eyeshadow palette. It's all matte shades. And I just used some of those in the crease and the outer corner in conjunction with these. So these two were the first palette I used <laughs> in 2022. Okay. That's it, you guys. That's the whole tag. We went through this so fast. A lot faster than I thought we would. Now I have a pile of makeup to put away, which is always fun. Okay, yeah. If you guys like these tags, let me know. Tell me some tags down below that you want to see me do, because I love doing these. They're so fun to do. Um, don't forget to like this video before you go. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more of my future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.